at this point, you know the routine. We're gonna. So let's just fast forward to downtown London. The street we're on is home to one of my childhood heroes. We're on Baker Street. Sherlock Holmes fan. So the plan is to try and get out of here without spending all of my money. The game's afoot. And it's only 1114, which means we still have time to do lots of things, any of the things, all of the things. Let's go check it out. I want to be so down feel free to enjoy yourself showed up here in London I had no idea what I was doing which is great because today on my morning run I saw that they were setting up something cool down by the river there was cameras TV crew porta potties VIP porta potties it looked legit turns out there's a boat race today between um Ox thank you Oxford and Cambridge and it is nearly race time, so all the talking and the staring can stop the race about to begin. Let's get the view of Constantine Lelidis and George Nash. Who wins it, Stan? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I'm always going to be true to Oxford. I, I think they looked really strong yesterday in training. Uh, I think they've got the form going again, they've got the personnel. But, you know, it could be a humdinger. George? I think Stan's right. I think it's, I think it's going to be a very close race. Cambridge looked to me like the, the sharper crew, but Oxford's strength is difficult to avoid. So I think if, if Cambridge are to win, it will go down to the wire. I certainly hope they do. Still behind the two crews, who are still so very close together. And again, it goes back to just that little bit around Hammersmith Bridge. Perhaps the brighter start for Oxford. But Oxford, in the 163rd boat race, will reclaim the Thames. They are champions once more. Cambridge. No, I'm more than happy. In New York, they'd be freestyling. No, no, but we're in London. So they just debate. 